was having. So Henry Kissinger died. He was the national advisory to Richard Nixon. And he was racist trash. He lived to be 100. Don't they always live the longest? Don't the most Jim Crowish beneficiaries of the most hate mongers always just seem to just live and live and live? There are audio tapes of him on record with Nixon talking about Pakistan. Ain't it funny how we're almost in the same situation 50 years later with that war that don't involve me, don't involve you, let them fight. And it's almost like the same thing. And he sat there. You know, if you're considering an accessory to a 187, then you're an accessory to bigotry, if you don't say nothing about it. Kissinger tried to act like he was above it. He wasn't above it. He wasn't above it. He racist trash, too. And there's nothing memorable about him, really, because he sat there... You see, when you see all these so-called cancel culture and Me Too movies and all this, they don't cancel racism. Bigotry is allowed. Oh, when they want to. You know, selectively, maybe if a cop gets busted for, like what happened with Derek Chauvin and George Floyd a few times, but they don't stop the racism blatantly. And this cat was blatant. So that's one of the ways I will remember him. Because anybody associated with Richard Nixon just solely so, and uh, you know what that was about. And he was, he talked like a privileged white male if you listen to his exchanges on videos. I don't hear anything that is uh, particularly positive to say. So as I was told as a young boy, you got nothing good to say. Say nothing. If you like the video, please like, subscribe. Welcome thoughts and comments, and I do respond. Thank you. I'm out.